Hi guys, I'm Sarah Hall and today I'm coming to you to discuss how television, media, and other very, very stimulating forms of technology can affect our third eye. So this is guidance that I'm going to be sharing with you that I have received from my guides and from my angels and I thought that it would be great to pass it along. Essentially, the message that I received was this. It is important for all of us to use discernment with regard to the choices of media that we choose to put into our mind. The mental consumption of many hours of watching television or being engaged on the internet or using our phones and that sort of thing, it actually has an effect that translates to the spiritual energy body particularly at the level of the third eye. Now, I've been doing work as a spiritual healer and angel reader for many, many years, and I have noticed oftentimes when I am doing healing work on this third eye area that you can actually see where someone may have been potentially overindulging in a lot of media in their life because oftentimes it shows up around the third eye as a sort of strained feeling around this energetic area. Sometimes I've even seen as a symbolic image to help me translate what that strained feeling is, the image of what you see sometimes where you get those little pixelated gray fuzz images around a television that's maybe not connected to a cable. So what the angels have had to say about this sort of thing is that essentially all of those images that we see through television and other forms of media, they come into the third eye and sometimes this can result in just a bit of an overwhelm. You'll notice even that when perhaps you are looking to meditate or engage in another form of spiritual practice that involves using a lot of focus and introspection, that your subconscious mind might actually be stuffed full of some of the images, thoughts, sounds, etc. that you took in via some form of technology or media. Now my personal feeling on this, and some of the guidance that I've received from the spirit world, is that television, internet, using our phones and that sort of thing, is not altogether a bad thing. These are things that can be okay in moderation. Again, especially if you use discernment in perhaps the type of media that you are engaging in. So another thing that I've noticed across the board in working with my clients over the years is that many people who are on a spiritual path and who are working on something that a lot of us will call ascension, that is the process of lightening the energy body and shifting the consciousness to perhaps a higher frequency so that we can understand the unified nature of all of consciousness. When you're in that process, there's a change that happens at every level of being, mind, body, and spirit, and you become more sensitive to thoughts, images, feelings, stories, ideas, and so forth. You're really, really feeling what's involved in those things. So oftentimes I've noticed, again with my clients, and of course, for sure in my own spiritual experience as well, that when you spend a lot of time taking in, for example, really violent images, or other images and thoughts and ideas and media that have some other kind of negative connotation to them, that this can be a really sort of interfering um, resonance or wave of thought and feeling that works through the level of the mind. And know too that the mind, when we talk about the mind-body-spirit connection, the mind and the spirit are incredibly and immediately aligned. It's like they are two intersecting, you know, sort of realms so that the thoughts that you focus on immediately translate to spiritual energy. And also, of course, trickle down and translate to a state within the physical body. The brain can't often differentiate from a story that we're seeing in a movie or a TV show or something that is directly happening to us. And again, the more sensitive that you become through your spiritual path, the more these things tend to perhaps affect you as you go through this lightening of consciousness. 
So therefore, it is important when you are choosing the kind of media that you want to put into your mind and therefore into your spiritual energy and body and so forth, to choose things that work for you, perhaps things that are uplifting, stories that inspire, ideas and thoughts that have a gentle, beautiful effect. And it's still possible to stay very much informed as to what's going on in terms of current events. It's just that you might want to find modes of taking in the news and that sort of thing that are less fear-mongering, if you can find something like that. Um, oftentimes for many sensitives, reading something, for example, as to, opposed to seeing video footage of something that's going on that triggers their sensitivity and also, again, affects the third eye, this can be a little bit better. And again, finding maybe a news source that has a little bit more of a neutral way of wording some of this stuff. That's one of my suggestions for you on this. I want to go back for a moment, I'm being call, guided by the angels to do so, to the point we made a moment ago that the energy of what you are watching on TV might cause what feels like an interfering or tense wave of energy that moves through you at the spiritual level. I'm hearing the angels add a little bit of extra emphasis and insight to this, and what they want you to know is that yes, in truth you are. You're bringing a wave of energy that is very, very different to the one that you are holding within. They want you to also know, and I'm hearing them say to you, dear one, dear light worker, dear budding light worker, that as you grow on this spiritual path that you're on, and as you go through that process we described where you're lightening and opening at all levels of being to understanding and feeling and experiences, experiencing the unity of consciousness, you are in a very fragile and precious um, sort of state, very vulnerable state, we could perhaps say. In the midst of a moment of transformation, that's when you are your most vulnerable. Um, so for example, you'd think of you know, a little child or a little baby, they are in the midst of so much transformation, so much growth, and we must protect them because that's a state where we require a lot of gentleness and nurturing to help us strengthen and get through that phase of transformation and on to the next part of ourselves. In the same way, I'm hearing the angels say that the butterfly, before it becomes a butterfly, has a cocoon all around it, a safe space, a barrier between it and the outside world so that it can go into its most vulnerable state of being in order to transform. The same is true for you, and you want to be just very mindful of the kind of thoughts that you put into your mind while you're in that delicate state of transformation on your path of ascension, if you'd like to call it that. As your consciousness raises, your vibration becomes higher and lighter and therefore more connected to love. Essentially, when we're going through this process of an ascension or lightening, growing on our spiritual paths, we become filled more and more and more with love and the spirit of love, which is God. God is love. And when you're connected with that, it can feel sort of like a violent roller coaster ride to then put in a vibration into your mind, your body, or your spirit that is so different than that light, soft, gentle vibration of love. So you've got your light, gentle vibration of love, and then boom, comes flying in this, you know, maybe violent violent story that you're hearing on the news or in a movie that you're watching and it can really throw us off. The other thing that your angels want you to know about that is that sometimes you'll get the experience where when you maybe overload your mind or your heart with some of these images or thoughts from media that can lower your vibration, it's like you make all this progress in your prayer, your meditation, or other spiritual work that you're doing on yourself, um, you know, throughout your daily life, and you've got this vibration that's raising, 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 but then when that media comes in that just has all that harsh energy in it, ooh, we see it ra lower down just a little bit again. And then when you do your meditation, it raises back up again and down and up and down and up. So listen to your feelings, essentially. Listen to what your instincts have to tell you, because you really do have the ability to be on a path of that growth of ascending to that higher lighter energy that makes it so that you don't have to have that roller coaster ride of going up down up down you can take care of yourself in such a way that helps you to maintain a very gentle stable state in your vibration and very gently climb the ladder upwards so choose media that helps you to do that and you will be incredibly supported on this path 
there are certainly many forms of media that we receive through our different forms of technology that actually are very uplifting, very inspiring, and I mean, I, I love to watch movies that are inspiring, so you don't need to be a Puritan and cut it all out completely, um, but as I said, use discernment, check in with your inner knowingness and your heart, and also, of course, you can check in with your angels and your guides because they will help as well. There's one last point that the spirit world is bringing in for us here today. They're sort of tapping me on the shoulder to add this little point. Is they want us to know that many of us who perhaps that you're watching right now will engage in something like this, with television watching or just surfing around on the internet and so forth, as a means to relax. And that, yes, there's part of you that really does, you know, sort of relax when you are, you know, watching these kinds of things. That can be a good thing. Relaxing is definitely very, very good. But there is something that happens to your consciousness when you are watching television, for example. It's sort of like being in a hypnotic state. It's a very trance-like state where you're opening all parts of your consciousness to what you are receiving. So you're opening your, your deep subconscious mind to all of the images, the thoughts, and the little suggestions that you are getting through the stories and the images that you are watching. Because your mind is then so open, acting like a sponge, taking in all of these ideas and thoughts and images, it can be very, very helpful while you're watching television, for example, to make sure that you are not completely slipping below your alertness and your consciousness to that really kind of zoned out you know, kind of state. Um, it's okay to be, you know, really in it when you're enjoying a movie or something like that, but taking some time every once in a while to take little breaks, breathe deeply, breathe into your body, look around the room, and just reset the alertness of some of your consciousness. This can also be helpful. One of the other angels I'm hearing and feeling around us is also guiding you to use other practices to help you to relax on a daily basis to incorporate besides using you know so much with the television and the media and that sort of thing and the suggestion that they're giving is to use for example meditation um, also listening to music and just relaxing and letting your imagination run wild or just letting go being in a state of peace doing something like this doesn't have you slipping below your regular state of consciousness into that zoned out, tranced out state. You're actually slipping above your regular state of consciousness into a much higher vibration, and some would say even a higher realm of being, where you're just as relaxed, perhaps even maybe more so, and feeling even more harmony just resonating all around you. Um, but it's a, it's a more... Um, active and fulfilling form of that restfulness, according to the angels. So I hope you enjoyed this spiritual insight that I decided to share with you for today. If you have any other topics that you are interested in hearing about, go ahead and ask me because I would love to do more of these. You can comment below if you'd like. Also, if you would like to join me live on the air, I will be live on the air this Thursday, July 20th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern on Project Bring Me to Life Radio on my radio show, Through the Eyes of the Angels, where our brand new episode is going to be on the topic of the power of faith. I've got some cool stories to share with you guys, and I am inviting and welcoming you all to call in during the show if you've got a story where you really experienced something great happen to you as a result of using your faith or your prayer so that we can just share as a community. I just, I love being able to connect with you guys like that. Know too that if you'd like to get in touch for your own private angel reading or healing session with me, you can do so via my website, seraphim.com. And know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye, guys.